Today I'm going to attempt to do some flips with the Strycopter. This Strycopter was originally built off Hall Studios design with the uh, enlarged RC Explorer plate and um, using the same uh, RC Timer 1300 motors that uh, he recommended in his video. I got the same servo and I got the same awesome yaw mechanism. I got a piece of wire runs through, it goes around and, and bent around this way to try to help eliminate a little bit of the play. But I don't think it matters much, even this much doesn't matter that much. Uh, anyway, I got a, um, a 4S 2650 battery. And uh, so, anyway, I'm gonna try to show you how to do some flips based off some uh, recommendations from Hall Studio and um, we'll see how this goes. So when you're flying, when you're doing flips, the, what you want it to do is you want the, you want to get the tricopter, first of all, you want to get it up quite a ways in the air. And I'll just tell you the basics real quick. First thing you do is you give it some upward momentum so that it gets some upward, <laughs> upward momentum. So it gets some upward momentum going. And once it starts going up, you immediately want to drop the throttle down to about 25 to 40%, somewhere in there, and then pull back on the stick. And it will start coming around like this, and it will come and it will keep coming around. And once you, you keep holding back, and once you come back around, then you wanna put, uh, put center your uh, right stick back up and give it the throttle to try to catch it so that it doesn't come crashing down. The uh, main thing to remember is you don't wanna turn your throttle off. Don't turn the throttle off. You just want to lower it. You wanna drop it down to about 40%. That way the, the propellers will stay, will stay spinning and it will still be responsive to your directional stick. If you do turn it all the way off, it, it will not do anything, it'll just fall because it has to be on so the right thumb stick, your directional stick can um, be able to control the propellers. But you wanna get up about, I get it up about as high as you can see it uh, and still know which direction it's going and then flip it around. All Studio recommended 150 feet. So to prepare for this, one thing to do, get your tricopter out, zip it up 150 feet up in the air, and then you want to let drop the throttle down about 40% or so, and let it fall, let it, let it come down. And it should come down in a fairly level uh, position. Now you also wanna make sure your auto level's off. It's fine to have your auto level on going up, and after you're done, turn it back on. But while you're doing the flips, you wanna make sure it's off. Take it up in the air about 150 feet, and then drop it, and then catch it, and then go back up, and drop it again, and bring it up, up and down a few times, until your thumb gets used to only dropping uh, about 40% of your um, throttle. You, like I said, you don't wanna turn the throttle off. Don't ever turn the throttle off on a tricopter. Well, maybe you can if you're good, but if you're like me, don't ever turn it off. Uh, but you wanna get it up, cut the throttle down, have it come down a little bit, and then catch it and go back up. And I'll go ahead and show you some of those steps. Okay, so for practice, you wanna throttle up, drop the throttle to 40%, catch it, and take it back up. Drop the throttle to 40%, catch it, take it back up. And we wanna let it drop about uh, 40 or 50 feet. Then, after that, we want to get the th plant, get the tricopter up in the air, give it a little bit of throttle, pull back, and give it a lot of throttle to get some upward momentum, pull back on the throttle, and pull all the way back on your directional stick here, and if you're mode two like I am, it's, it's on the right. Pull all the way back, and as it starts to flip around, watch for it, and when it gets all the way around back to level, put your stick back up to the center, and possibly even a little bit more to, to stop the flipping motion, and gas your throttle, gas your throttle, <laughs> turn your throttle up to catch the plane uh, in the air. All right, so we'll see how this actually works. All right. Okay, I'm gonna start with the auto level on right here. My auto level is on while I get up in the air. That way, that way it doesn't do so, so much craziness. The other thing you wanna do, make sure you're out here over grass. You wanna be out over grass just in case and hopefully you can save your tricopter a little bit of work. Okay, I'm gonna take it up quite a ways. I 
All right. Okay, it's up quite a ways now. I'm gonna turn the auto level off. And all right, here I'm going to, well, if I can get it steady. Like I said, you drop the throttle, 40%, propellers are still spinning. It's still pretty level. Catch it, take it back up. All right, once you've done that a few times, you wanna come up here, up high again. Remember, you want high. And you want to, we're gonna tap the accelerator, get some upward momentum, and then pull back on the directional stick as hard as we can. And then when it comes around, we're going to try to catch it. Ready? Here it goes, up on the th stick. Whoa. That almost didn't work. That almost didn't work for me. I got confused as to which way it was going. Okay, here we go again. Up on the stick, pull back, and then catch it. We'll go up a little higher, just in case this time. All right, here it goes. Up, pull back. Well, that was a pretty messy flip. That's pretty messy. Hopefully you guys can see this. Or maybe hopefully you can't. All right, here we go again. Up, pull back. There we go. Okay, I'll try a little more dangerous here. I'll try a little, a little closer to the ground. See if it'll go. All right, ready? Hopefully it's not too far away, you can't see it. There it goes, up. Whoa, that was a flip, but it wasn't a very good one. Let's try it again. Oh, I pulled the throttle all the way off. Okay, I'm getting up real high again. All right, here we go. Up on the throttle, pull back. Whoa, back up on the throttle and catch it. Here we go, ready? Oh yeah. All right, I want to try one to the side. Same, same concept going to the side. I want to pull back, or give it some throttle, just crank it to the side and get ready to catch it. Yeah, buddy, that's what I'm talking about. That was to the right. We'll try it to the left. Yeah, buddy. That was left. We'll try forward. Woo! Forward flip is awesome. Okay, I'm getting up real high again. Whoa! That was quite the experience. I'm not sure what happened, but it did come down. All right, let's see this thing. <laughs> that was interesting. It, uh, motors feel okay. That motor pulled out of the, that wire pulled out. That's okay. Oop, let's see, does something break up here? No. Nothing else seemed to bro be broken. That's good. Got three broken propellers out of the deal. Oh no, two. Good, this one survived. The one that wasn't balanced correctly survived. All right, got it, got the safety turned on now. All right, let's go ahead and unplug this. My cells are a little oblong now. Oh, there we go. Back to normal, that's good. Anyway, that was awesome flying. Had some good flips. A few of them anyway. I'm not really sure what happened, but it did it did stall out and it did come down. Hopefully I was looking at it at a decent angle where everybody could see it. Anyway, got some repairs to do, some re propellers to replace, some wires to solder, but I think it's okay. Got this nice protective foam board on here, so it didn't look like it did too much damage. What's beeping? Oh, it's my, probably my transmitter probably died out on it and probably couldn't send signals. My transmitter's beeping now because low batteries. Wouldn't surprise me if that's what it was. Anyway, I hope not. But anyway, that's a good way to do, do uh, flips. 
The one thing you don't want to do is let your batteries and your transmitter get low or your tricopter may look like this in the end and uh, hopefully not. Anyway, that's it. If you have any questions about how to do flips, I could try to answer them, but as you can see, I may not be the best person to ask, but at least I get you started in the right direction and uh, thanks for watching.